Hey, guys, what's up? Um, whether you're watching this live or catching the replay, let me know um, when you catch the replay. I'd be really curious to, to find out. Uh, so I'm here in beautiful La Jolla, California, and it is remarkable, life-changing. I'm here for several reasons, but one in particular is a seminar that I'm taking with um, Bo Eason, who you might want to check him out. His handle is Bo Eason 21. Uh, and I can't help but think about a lot of different things that have been going on in my life these past few days. And, um, I've been watching women on social media, just kind of killing the curl game and, you know, between posting and offering valuable information and constantly adding tips. I feel like, Everyone is just doing such a great job. So, um, yeah, I wanted to jump on here because I missed you. I haven't talked to you in a long time. Uh, I've been dealing with nothing crazy in particular, but life has its tricky ways of reminding you how to stay humble. So that's where I'm at right now. And I wanted to bring up the fact that yesterday I had my first day uh style and I hated my hair <laughs> like my styling was on point okay my curls were frizz free but to be honest with you I really hated the way my hair looked it looked really crispy um it was not breaking that cast. I had used the InnerSense products, love the InnerSense products, will continue to use them. And I consciously chose to be heavy handed with those products, the I Create Volume and I Create Lift and I Create Finish. Uh, all three of them offer a really beautiful shine, okay? And they also have really great slip because they are uh, packed with emollients. And so when I'm doing my own hair, you know, my hair story is I want to be taken into consideration um, by other curly hair individuals in this community that I know what I'm doing with my own hair because um, there's going to be a lot of people who are going to look at my hair and I'm my own billboard. So if I'm not uh, conscious of how to take care of my hair and how to have my hair look, then a lot of people are going to look at me and be like, she does hair for a living? That's not cool. So I am in a very high critical position. Um, and I'm okay with that. I actually play really good in that field. And I also admit when it just doesn't work out. Hey guys, hi, 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 hi. Uh, and I think that is necessary for someone who is playing behind the chair quite often working with so many different uh, people to admit like, you know, I don't really love my hair all the time. Um, I'm human. I have my own curly girl journey and my own story. Uh, and it would be so inauthentic if I didn't have that. So, uh, for those of you out there who I know are not in this room, because I can feel the love, um, I love to see you too, lovey. Um, for those of you in the room in this moment, uh, I know this is not for you, and I know this is not for a lot of people who follow me, because I have really positive people who follow me, which is why um, I am so grateful, and like, not in the sense that uh, I want this huge amount of masses of people knowing who I am. It's not a self-righteous thing. It's because um, I'm grateful because online community matters. Um, we are in a world where technology is a lot of this. It's a lot of talking face-to-face -face on our devices and being that I work on my own, I live by myself, I moved to the state of New York without my family, uh, 
it takes a lot for me to stay focused and to stay with the the beating of the heart that I will constantly keep being around people who matter, people who have um, an outlook on life that pushes me and demands from me. Hi, Erin. Hey, Bogdana. Hey, Kenya. Um, this is what I'm talking about. Hey, Betty. Hey, lovey. Hey, Angel. Hey, Alex. This is what I'm talking about. Everybody that I really love to be around on this platform shows up. Um, you all push me. You all challenge me. Sometimes you ask me questions that I am just not ready for and I am willing to look into. Um, and also, I'm just not going to... Um, you know, put down my beliefs and my values to satisfy people who um, don't really understand the nature of my work. And so if you're um, listening to this and you're catching this, whether live or on the replay, uh, keep in mind, you know, you have so much potential um, and your values and your and your characteristics are going to come through your daily activities, your daily um, space, the space in which you hold in in your very like aura. And that aura is going to permeate other people throughout the day. So if you're a teacher, if you're a nurse, if you are a student, you know, if you're a daughter, if you're a mother, if you, you know, are part of your community, whether you're on a board of some sort, um, or if you are regulating a department that is affecting, like, the society in which we live in, everything you say and do matters. And if you are not feeling good about yourself, if you're not feeling good about your hair, it's not just hair. It's a part of your body, just like your skin, your muscles, okay? Um, the way your nails feel, okay? The way your cuticles feel, the way your feet feel, your heels, your calves, your knees, your joints, okay? It's all a part of this vessel that is working out in this expression of yourself, and when you can change your perspective of how you view yourself in the world, that means you're going to do stuff you are not used to doing because they are new uh, ways to going about it. What I mean by that is you want to do something, if you, if you want to see different results, you're going to have to do something you've never done before. And that may be, you know, waking up so much earlier in the morning to have your hair look right every day because you want to feel good. That might mean um, learning how to not touch your hair the way that you used to touching your hair because it's an anxiety thing or because it's uh, available for you so you just want to play with it and you don't want to stop your habit because it's kind of like your pacifier. It gives you a sense of calm. Okay, and those little habits that we have are the hardest ones to break because you have perfected them and replicated them um, for your whole life. I think it's terrifying. Thank you, Kenya. Yes, it is terrifying to try new products. I have a client. She is amazing. Um, you know, hey, lovey, how are you guys? Um, she is absolutely incredible. In fact, she is the sister of one of my girls that's in here, and she was obsessed with Infusium 23, okay? Who here <laughs> used to use Infusium 23, right? You'd go to Stop and Shop or CVS, you would open that little pop top bottle with the little squirter in it. I used to actually put it in a separate bottle, and I used to um, actually either try to pour it in my hair with the original bottle or I would put it in a spray bottle and spritz it all over and that was my go-to that was the only leave-in conditioner that I could actually work with so my client yes girl your sister she is in love with Infusium 23 she could not stop using it okay she loves the smell she's so accustomed to it 
when she first met me, the first, one of the first things out of my mouth was you have to stop using Infusium 23. Not because I wanted to convert her or initiate her into the inner sense world or anything like that. But it was because I needed her to recognize that she has a crutch and she's not going to trust any other product or any other method or technique without her Infusium 23. So as she started weaning off it, it was really hard for her, but she started to trust other products. She started to trust the process in which I was bringing her because she listened to what I told her to do. And that's what's so important with listening to not only a curl stylist, but we're coaching you. We're coaching you the steps in which you have to go through in order to bring you to the next service and to the next area of us working together, which is why when you're in my chair, I'm going to tell you what products you need to use, how you need to use them, and create a system for you. And I, and I always encourage, take your notes. You know, if you need to take pictures, take pictures, follow my YouTube videos. Guys, I, I do this all for you so you have a system when you go home. And so that's your homework. So when she came back the next time, her hair was amazing. Her hair was amazing. And you know what? She wanted more coaching. So she signed up for uh, my service for um, Style Me Pretty service. And she learned through how I styled her hair for that for that 30 minutes. She came in about almost two weeks later because she left her credit card at my salon and she didn't have any other time to come pick it up. And the look on my face was like that. Like, oh my God, girl, your hair looks so good. And she said, I just did my hair for the first time since I last saw you because I got almost over five days out of my hair when I saw you. And I was like, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Because she learned how to sleep on it. She learned how to work with it. It was game changing. So when I tell you, when you... um find, sorry, I'm just seeing all these comments now. I was just, um, that's what's so interesting about live is that I'm telling the story. I get so passionate, but I'm missing all the comments. Um, I'm sharing this with you because I don't want you to give up. I don't want you to just rely on all that you know, because I know, you know, because I know you had to self-teach yourself because no one else was around to teach you. And I know that must have been really challenging, really hard. You probably had a lot of shitty days because of that. And you probably had a lot of success because of it too. Okay? But I'm going to tell you through experience and through so much more, let me guide you and hold your hand. Let the stylist who you trust hold their hand, surrender. Surrender doesn't mean give up. Surrender is a word that in our society has never taught us to know because they don't want us to trust each other. Society has really done a lot of damage to the word trust. And I just learned over this past week that we have come to a terrible statistic that in the 70s, Two-thirds of the country used to be able to trust their neighbor. And now in 2019, not even one-third of society trusts their neighbor. The person who you're supposed to go over to your backyard or next door in your apartment building and knock on their door and ask them for that cup of sugar. There is so much less trust in this world. And it's my job, but mostly my purpose to help you build that trust within yourself and build that trust with that stylist. If it's not me, it's going to be with someone else. Thank you for joining me. I want to jump back. I saw a question or two. I want to get to that before I jump off. Um, Steel City Strong question, honey. Uh, any recommendations? This is her question. Any recommendations on how to unknot, avoid knots altogether in a sleeping toddler with crazy curls? Uh, Steel City, 
um, my biggest recommendation is making sure that your toddler, your toddler is a tornado right now. And so um, all they are is a ball of energy. So that hair is going to turn into a ball of energy. What I would suggest is you book out some hair time um, every you have to be consistent every day, every morning. You have to find a hair ritual. You have to create a new habit for you and your toddler that's now going to be what's going to happen with them for the rest of their life. Okay? And this is going to be a practice where um, I don't have children. Maybe other people in this group um, can recommend something, or you know, you can uh, see what other mothers are doing for their children. Uh, from what I've recommended is to find a time that works best for the two of you and to get a really nice spray leave-in conditioner, okay, and to use your fingers. And I can't use both my hands at the same time right now, but you ever have a knot in a, ch in a link chain necklace and you always find yourself just kind of pulling it apart a little bit and you're like pulling it apart and then letting it go, you're not pulling it really tight because then what happens to that chain, right? Yeah, you get a tighter knot. So you kind of have to wiggle it out. And so that's what I want you to do. It's like find that little knot and just kind of fan it open a little bit. So you start to create that space in that in that um, knot. And at the same time, you're spraying a really nice leave-in conditioner that has a really lovely emollient to it um, that's going to give that slip. So you can actually use your um, conditioner as long as it's, um, I would say, organic and botanically derived. I think the most safest uh, hair care products I've come across is Innersense Organic Beauty. Uh, check them out. They are 100% um, green beauty. They're insanely safe for your child and you can mix up their conditioners with water you can make your own leave-in spritz get it in there and just spend that time and I understand that it's challenging but it will get easier because your child's going to um, get used to it so it, it really does work uh, really great um, also, too, it depends on your child how sensitive their scalp is. Um, Angel13 said that, yes, a leave-in spritz is really great, um, and it's lovely. And she said, she mentioned, uh, I also use protective styles for them, like ponytails and braids and barrettes and stuff like that. Those are going to help with um, tangles. Uh, and, and learning to not become so codependent on the braids and all that is also going to teach your toddler that their hair can live free and be free and you know how to manage it over time. So it's going to build their self-confidence even at such a young age. Um, but the braids and whatnot are helpful and also buy, buy your, um, little one, uh, little silk, um, sheets. It really helps. It's really great. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being with me. Like, wow. Uh, really stuck strong today. Really, really amazing. Hey, Natalie. Um, if you catch the replay, please. Awesome. If, uh, if you're digging it, let people know that I just did a live. And I hope you have a really beautiful day. Enjoy the weather wherever you are, even if it's shitty. Find that positive thing in the day and make it work. Bye-bye. Take care.